It's not going to work. It is not going to work. You cannot expect people to just sit there and watch you talk to the camera and keep watching. They do not have the attention span for that. People do not have the attention span for that. So you've got to have quick edits, quick change camera, change camera, change camera, change camera. And then we're going to talk about something else that you need. We're going to talk about the fact that having better video retention could kill your channel. That's right. But let's talk about video retention first. Video retention. Oh, let me change it. Oh, hang on. I don't want you to get bored. Oh, let me change it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I don't want you to get bored. Hang on. Oh, okay. Let's talk about the video retention. Video retention should... <laughs> hang on. It's time for some B-roll. All right. We got some B-roll. All right. I hope you're still with me. All right. Back to... Okay. Don't... Oh, hang on. We got some B-roll. Keep your attention there. Okay. So... <laughs> Let's talk about video retention. YouTube really wants you to have very good video retention. That means how long you keep someone on a video where they don't click off. Now, the way in which in like a three minute video, for example, you wanna have 60% video retention. That means it would have to watch you for a minute and a half before clicking off the video. Wow. Well, how do you do that? Do you present better? <laughs> don't be silly. You don't work on your presentation skills. Well, how do you do that then? Do you bring better content? Oh my goodness, these are silly ideas. No, 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 no. Listen to the YouTube gurus and get yourself some B-roll. That's right, B-roll. Let's talk about B-roll. Well, let's switch cameras first and let's get back to this. Let's talk about B-roll. Okay, so A-roll would be right here where it's just the camera on me, my beautiful new iPhone 6S recording me at the moment, and that is what we have for A-roll. And then B-roll would be a secondary video source, and that would be something that I put over top of myself like this. Look, I'm gone, I'm completely gone, and there's video playing over top of it. That's the B-roll right now, and this is keeping your attention because, <laughs> because <laughs> since people have such low attention spans, we just throw that B-roll on the screen, and actually, B-roll can be, I'm not anti-B-roll, trust me. B-roll is very good to have, but so many people, unfortunately, have, they don't have the presentation skills and everyone is, it needs to grow in different areas, but they don't care about the presentation skills. They just want to go spend time in their editor and put some B-roll on the screen. And so that's why we're gonna talk about retention. You gotta keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it, oh. My hotkeys aren't working anymore. Wait, oh, keep it moving. Okay, anyway, you get the point. Hey, get back to the front camera. So <laughs> what we're gonna talk about now is, uh, we've already talked about it. I'm done talking about it for the most part, except that better video retention might kill your channel. And the reason why I say that is because if you have a highly produced, highly edited content, if that's a style that you want, then go for it. But if you do that style, your audience is going to expect that style every single video. So just keep that in mind. If you have something that is highly produced, highly edited, takes you a million years to edit that thing, uh, that's what they're gonna expect. But if you have just a basic talking head video where you talk to them and they listen to you, and you talk to them and they listen to, oh, that's not gonna work on YouTube, as uh, many would say. If you do have that, <laughs> then they don't have the expectation that you're gonna have tons of B-roll, B-roll on the screen all the time to keep their attention. So that's the thought for the day. Think about just how much time you're gonna spend in the editor versus how much time you're going to actually craft good quality content and working on your presentation skills. Not to be over the top, but certainly not to be boring, but to be who you are when you get on camera, but not just, not, not who you are when you woke up, not who you are when you're getting ready to go to bed, <laughs> who you are in presentation mode so that you can deliver the content in a way that is glorifying and honoring to Christ and serving others and reaching them where they are with 
as much humor, as little humor as you want to have, you can have fun videos like this and just laugh at things like I have done here. But do what you want to do and don't and present it in a way that is going to be well received and not dependent upon editing, B-roll, lots of camera, change angles, multi-cam setup. Don't be dependent upon that kind of stuff. It's just a nice little icing on the cake if you do have it and it's used well and tastefully. And I'm, I'm switching so much in this video to make the point it is so overdone by people and then it's just a turn off. And that's actually what makes me want to click off of a video is when they're switching back and forth and 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 back and forth constantly. And you're just like, why don't you just talk to me and tell me what it is that you said the video is about. So this video is about how going for retention by doing all these retention hacks with too much b-roll could kill your channel because people are going to expect what you give them so i hope that that point is made and well received and is beneficial for you on your journey my name is adam markley welcome to get the word out helping you get the word of god out to the masses i deal with the theology and practice of online ministry go ahead and hit subscribe hit the notification bell hit the like button please so this pushes that out to more people and you can watch this video now about robots should robots be writing uh your script no absolutely not and watch this video as i explain very clearly that no robots should not should not let robots write your script watch it now you won't regret it i'll see you over there